when it comes to friendship and love, they say opposites attract. You probably recall seeing this a million times in the movies and on TV. The good girl who keeps falling for the rebel. Or the sloppy guy who always seems to end up with the neat roommate. The shy young woman who tends to be drawn to the outgoing boyfriend. Or the laid back artist who prefers dating the type A businesswoman. It makes for good movies. But in real life, do opposites really enjoy being together? And even more important, do they really bring the best out in each other and make for harmonious friendships, relationships, and marriages? The answer is no. Or usually not, according to the experts. Sometimes opposites really do attract. Social scientists say that we sometimes admire people who compliment us who have skills or traits that we lack. Someone who can help us get through life more easily. But more often, in friendships and in love relationships, we look for someone who is just like us. We need to date people who share our values, our outlook on life, and our experiences. On online dating sites, for example, people often say they expect to date someone who is their opposite. But studies show that the people they decide to go out with usually have personalities that are very similar to their own. But what if you begin dating someone and then realize they're really opposite from you? Should you give it up? Or can that relationship work? Social scientists might suggest rethinking that relationship because all those differences that attracted you at first will likely cause you to clash and drift apart later on. But before you consider saying goodbye to your boyfriend or girlfriend, this may cheer you up. When it comes to opposites, there's a big difference between attitudes and personality. People can have opposite attitudes about many things, from big things like religion or politics to little things like movies and wall colors and still continue to have a great relationship. But people who have opposite personalities? Well, that's a little more difficult because they're more likely to clash. It's much harder for opposite personalities to empathize with one another, to reconnect after arguments, and to handle all the little compromises that relationships require. So, in the end, the good girl should probably do without her rebel boyfriend and start looking for a nice guy. The laid-back artist should try to run into someone who shares his relaxed energy. And that shy young woman, she may want to be on the lookout for an equally shy young man. <laughs>